different that picture. New day, new town. Yeah, merci beaucoup to the two French guys that drove us over here. And we're meeting Stouff, I think, or Steph. And he's gonna show us around town a little bit here. While waiting for Mustafa, we checked out the local graffiti. Now here's the green bus that takes you around locally in the area to Mirrorlift, Tisnit. Of course, one of our favorite cats. Well, thank you for uh, inviting us no, no. along today. No worries. Welcome. We're gonna... It's a small village, it's like home <laughs> Yeah. already. Now the first place we came to was near Plaza España. It's a lookout over the ocean. It wasn't very crowded, but you could imagine this space full of people enjoying their tea or cafe on any sunny day of the year here in City Ifni. Yeah. Well, now I see closer, closer. I fucking do Man, it's good day. This day there were just three surfers in the water. Probably the two that drove us to town. This is the old Spanish consulate. Right now it's closed, it's boarded up, and it's Spanish territory. So Moroccans can't do anything with it. This changed by Muslims side by side you know, a long time ago. Good history. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> All the Christians. Here is the front side of the abandoned Spanish consulate. You can see their coat of arms. Yeah, Rice. His nickname is Rice, but I can't remember him. Yeah, Grandpa. I don't know exactly. He's very old. He is from the colonization. So, City Ifni was released in 1969 from Spanish territory and the rest of the country, 1956 exactly. by France. Yeah. So, I'm learning here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't know the timeline. Yeah. This is very old one. We found the streets eerily quiet and we enjoyed walking alone among them. Our friend Mohammed explained that through this port of city Ifni, the whole economy revolves around fishing. Here in city Ifni, zero cases corona. We, have, we don't have corona. That's good. Yeah. The hospital is quiet here. It's empty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Old cars dotted the streets. The what seemed to be abandoned buildings reckoned of a previous time, not ancient, but of the previous century, when things were different here. One thing I was told about City Ifni was there was a lot of police. And it's true, I saw a lot of national security. Mostafa explained that in 2008, there was an uprising in City Ifni where the people tried to create their own flag and their own land. Since then, things seem to have calmed down. We had such a good time at the port of Esorera that we thought we'd try our luck here in City Ifni. El Karim. It was a hot day and the sardines smelled like they were baking. You like the fish port, Andrea? <laughs> Sardines baking in a garbage bin, not in an oven. Hey, another world in here. My side is in. Another world. Yeah. I don't know if we can see it on the video, but there's mirror lift back there. Each one of these costs 1,000 euro, <laughs> and there's a lot of them, eh? How old are you, Mohammed? I'm 55. 55? You're lying. After the port, we drove to City Ifni again, and this is the old City Ifni airport. You could see it on Google Maps. The smell of the port stimulated our appetite, so we head for some Moroccan fast food in City Ifni. Rotisserie chicken and lubia. Say something about 
After lunch, we were to go to a secret spot, Tagua Beach. Oh, oh, well, it's like, what is that? You know, you're not home. Who's gonna call you? Some dumb messages. So we found Tagua. Andrea doesn't think it's bigger. It's wider. And our friend's house is right here. So a big thank you to Algeria family for recommending the spot. I was a little confused. Why would Algeria family be giving me Morocco tips? But a subscriber of eight months knew their stuff. Luckily enough, Mustafa and Mohammed knew exactly where the spot was. Perfect. Next time, bring your, bring your car and a boat. The Olympic bar. High tide, eh? High tide. We can walk. We take a short walk down the beach to see the fishermen, surfers, some families enjoying themselves, a cemetery, and Mohammed says his back has been bothering him, so I suggest acro yoga. Bend the knees. Oh, beautiful. Bend your knees, feet down. Yes, yes. Very nice. You should try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have a back problem. You have a back problem? Wait, 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 wait. Relax. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm good. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Relax, relax. Good. Very good. Stay, stay, stay. I got you. I got you. Lean back, lean back your head. He's relaxing his back. I feel, I feel like, oh, I feel very light. Very light. Very light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Kevin. Good it's job, so professional. <laughs> it's it's good so job, Kevin. It's professional, huh? It is, it is, yeah. I yeah. think it's Thank something that like... yeah, so I think now. Short day trip to City if Neat. I hope you enjoyed the journey. I enjoyed learning about the history of the region, checking out an old Spanish city, and meeting some new friends, Mustafa and Mohammed. So big thank you for showing us around town. It was a pleasure to spend the day with you guys, and I hope everyone watching also enjoyed our trip. 
Did you like the beach? Did you like the acro yoga? Comments. Please uh, let us know any constructive criticism. If you haven't by this point, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. And if you'd like to show us around your town, let us know. Drop a comment, email, send us something on Instagram. We're going to be doing some more travels real soon. So let me know what city you represent and why we should go there.